was absolutely horrible. I just live in hell. Hours of taking in smoke have left Joy Richter with that raspy sounding voice. Had I don't that. know how I'm alive. Richter was home with her dog Bacon and her blind 80 year old father in law, JP Smith, when it happened. A neighbor told me I needed to get out and I needed to get out now. But the rush to get out came to a terrifying halt as the single road out of town backed up. They said if we stay in this car, we're going to burn alive. We have to get out of here. JP, you have to come with me. You have to come with me now. Before they fled to the ocean, Richter noticed a bucket in the back seat. She'd complained to her husband who left it there, but now it seemed that bucket might come in handy as they sought refuge over a seawall. You could hear a symphony of car alarms going off, and then one after another, everybody's car is exploding. And you had the, the fire and falling down on us, as well as glass falling from all of our car windows. I took the bucket and I would just take a scoop and try and throw it on my father-in-law. Then I'd take a scoop and pour it on my dog. Then I'd take a scoop and pour it on me. I was laying on the rocks in the water just saying, please, God, please. I didn't think I was going to make it. Firefighters were rushing survivors to the hospital. Her father-in-law, who wasn't moving, was left behind. They didn't know if he was alive or dead. They said, you have to leave. My dog refused to leave his side. This video shows Richter's husband in a desperate search later for their dog. This is my baby right there. Let me see, let me see. His name's Bacon. The search continued for hours, and then... And he screamed his name one last time, and his head popped up, and he was with a homeless man. And the homeless man said that he found my dog on the rocks laying next to a dead man. J.P. Smith would have turned 80 next month, but he didn't die alone. He's a good, he's such a good baby. And he just wanted to stay there and protect his grandpa. Family in Milwaukee have put together this GoFundMe page as they come to terms with all that was lost. Mm. Wow, you could just hear the emotion in her voice. Yeah. Uh, the, the thought of what these people have gone through yeah. in the last two, three, four, five days, whatever it might be, uh, it's hard to kind of wrap your mind around. It's incredible. And, and to think that it happened in a place that has provided so much happiness to so many people, I yeah. think that's what's really heartbreaking yeah. for me. We have the link to the, web, to the GoFundMe on our yes, website. We do. Yeah, right. right in the web story. Yep.